Hi there, Signs of Leo. This is Kim here to do your reading for you all for your next 48 hours or whenever it resonates with you. It is intended for the next 48 hours though. And guys, before I start, other than my thanks for being here and thank you if you have never seen this channel, I appreciate you being here this moment right now. And if you want a private reading, I'm doing those for donations for limited time. So check out the box below if you're interested in getting a reading from me. So we are going to start. And Leos, we always call in your spirit guides, your higher self, your angels. Positive messages, please, for the collective of Leo. In our fifth house, our Leos. Last reading was a little hard to digest, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe the energies have shifted a little bit. Maybe they have shifted. What's going on with our Leo's general reading next 48 hours? But you get, you know, I don't like labeling these any kind of specific reading, really, because you get from it what you're wanting to get out of it. You get what you want out of it. <laughs> All right, this is the shaman's dream, by the way. For our Leo's the shaman's dream. Okay, that's nice. Maybe you're working with another person. Like maybe you have a partnership. Maybe this is you, drifter, experiencing life as it comes. This is telling you that be prepared to experience life like you haven't before be prepared to not always be doing the same routine <laughs> you know what i mean like there's something that's not automatic about the drifter car there's something about not really knowing but the mystery and living and letting that be like your new normal you know talking about new normal let it be something exciting so 11 deep quiet meditation and stillness and trust me, this one is hard for me, too. Um, I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's not hard for you. <laughs> but you can see the purples there. And this is, a, this is a time where Spirit says things will be lined up so that you have pockets of time available to be just to yourself. Closing your eyes, maybe even focusing just on breathing. If that's all we can focus on at the moment, then breathing is fine. Deep, quiet, a call to spend time with yourself. But what I was going to say, well, there was another reading. I, I watched the Leo readings too, of course, um, from different tarot readers. And this popped up on another person's reading for Leos too. Sky Dancers surrender oh well we're gonna have to pull from the power to surrender deck let me get the book out for this one because i want you to get the full meaning of these things if you aren't interested in the oracle i mean feel free just to fast forward fast forward and skip on down to the tarot part because you'll see the second part will be tarot Pretty much these readings are in two parts. All right, so if we're gonna start with Deep Quiet, I'm actually gonna read that one. It's a message for you to, um, to come into stillness. It says, listen to that still small voice and remember that you wanna catch spirit on a whisper, not a shout. It's only human to argue that you're too busy to slow down or that you don't have time or the money for a retreat. But do not let any of these reasons get the better of you. Stop the world and enter the deep quiet before you come to a crashing halt. After you have said yes to this invitation, you'll find that the world can get along quite well without the need for you to manage it. You will still enjoy the freedom that comes with the stillness, the clarity and spaciousness offered by the sound silence. That's nice. Okay, and then Sky Dancers, Surrender. I must admit though, that thing is kind of creepy looking. Like the face on it is a little creepy looking. 
you know, but, but it's cute. I mean, maybe it's supposed to be a dragonfly or something, or maybe it's a fairy. I don't know. It always kind of creeps me out. Um, let's see. So 48, liberation from attachment, surrender. Um, this is asking you to dig for the deepest power of the feminine in your life. So it's the stillness. It's asking you again to be in the stillness because there is something that spirit wants to say and they're going to say it in the form of a whisper. So it's very, very important that you be quiet and still for it. it says you've overanalyzed a situation. So you've exhausted, exhausted a situation. Probably inventing more negatives as a possibility than than what is good right <clears throat> it says break the habit of being yourself of uh, breaking this uh same behavior of doing the same behavior but hoping for a different outcome um this says this may be the sky dancers might be heralding the arrival of a new relationship and it might be with yourself, in your work, or in your love life, or in yourself. It says, do not assume that this person or opportunity will rescue you. The only way to liberation is to kiss the ground goodbye and to take flight. To rise above the fray and the drama of the struggling, arguing mind. Dance in the sky and view the madness below. By simply witnessing the actors and the human comedy unfolding on the ground, you are transforming it. Nice. Okay, and then Lost Compass looks like looks like the Wheel of Fortune card to me, doesn't it? 35. Getting back to integrity. Getting back to who you are. Who you are. And then beloved, the radical acceptance. Radical acceptance. Being accepting of whatever you're in. Like, whatever space that you're in right now. All right, so that's the only real way we make change is by acceptance. This acceptance of what it is that you are in at the moment. So this is about getting back, finding your way home, or trusting your intuition. It says when the lost compass appears, it's a sign you need to find your way back home to your source and center. Relying on your intuition to arrive there. Be wary of the signs telling you to turn here or there or to avoid this or that situation or person because the outward indicators are not reliable right now. Well, that's interesting advice. Hmm. Be careful not to believe all the advice that you're receiving. Rely instead on your innate sense of direction and guidance. That That's interesting. So that's like saying that there could be people... Well, there certainly are people telling you where you should be going, what you should be doing. And they're saying, no, no, get back to home base, which is you, your intuition. You tell yourself. And once again, high priestess energy and intuition. So basically, you're on point with your intuition. It's Your psychic abilities are really high right now. At this time, things are like amplified. Um, let me read for you number two, the, uh, beloved radical acceptance. I love this one. Number two, the object of affection, radical acceptance and loving what is when beloved appears, it requires 100% of your heart, body, and soul. Don't try to squeeze it into your schedule. Know that this card comes as a mirror to show you the divine within you and your radical of acceptance of everything that you consider beautiful or ugly in your being. So if what you are seeing is a reflection from your shadow side, you know, if what you are reflecting is, is a consequence of the shadow side, let's just say, then you still can look at it with love and acceptance as part of being part of this experience uh, in itself as not good nor bad, just part of it, all part of the whole, <clears throat> all accepting what is. It says, do not hold back here. 
Um, it says this, whatever this is, it's asking you to surrender, that you're you're being asked to give something your all. So you're being, there is something that Spirit says is a fire in your heart. There is something that is pushing you, Leo, to imagine a dream come true. It has to do with what you're going to create. So it says, allow yourself to be loved. Be careful you're not seduced by false promises or falling prey to extra nor extraordinary ability to sabotage your own dreams and desires, which this is um, another message. So there's two messages about be careful who's around you and who's giving you, feeding you advice. I would definitely be careful with that. Not me, of course, but <laughs> you know what I mean? So it says the true beloved is never false. Every gift proffered is valuable. Recognize the many faces of the beloved and welcome them into your heart. You will be so glad that you did. Yeah, because that's when change happens. That's when change occurs. All right, so let's put these right here. And then I'm going to grab the surrender deck because um, with the Sky Dancers, it just seems like it's maybe wanting us to get this deck. A try. Surrender to setting limits. Don't put limits up or down. Don't put limits. Surrender your fear of change. Well, Leo, you are in your defense. A fixed sign. <laughs> Okay, what should Leo surrender, Spirit? What should Leo surrender? What should Leo surrender? Oh, Leo, you got the same thing Taurus got. Surrender to uh, surrender obsessive thinking, not to definitely not to obsessive. Surrender obsessive thinking, and this might be temptation too with that apple. So be careful with self sabotage. Yes, be careful about that. It says, if you're obsessing about a person or a situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve the problem. Okay, so stop thinking about it so much. I mean, really, that's, that's, that, that's the message. That's the whole message. This is the genetic gifts oracle or something very similar to that. Okay, it's like we've got three. Starseed, empathetic, psychic, healer, and knows their purpose. Facebook platform, spiritual posts and activities. And portal keeper, 3D to 5D ascension fulfillment. So it's being part of that group that is here to keep the portal open for people to walk through and they can see that by feeling your light that you emit that is so you, in essence you are the portal for other people to experience um what it would be like moving into higher realms like higher realms with the love that you can show all right Okay, now, um, now I'm going to get this one. Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle is next. Surrender Obsessive Thinking. Hey, I'm having a hard time with these cards. They're so big. Says, I'm going to read it again. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring clarity and even solve your problem. Okay. Intuitive life coaching oracle. What do we have? Oh, you have an old soul. Well, we could have guessed that, really. I could have guessed that with the star seed. Um, and, and, well, just in general, if you're watching tarot in general... I, I would feel like you're probably an old soul. So, okay. So, what do we have? We have fear. What do we have? F. Fear. Goodness. Is this holding us back? 
Is this holding us back? Because it really might be. It says, your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life that you deserve. Angel number 60. Pay attention to the signs. Your angels are trying to deliver you a message. 74. Increase. You have successfully manifested something near and dear to your heart. 6. Intuition. You are learning to embrace and trust your inner knowing. And of course, old soul Leo, you have lived many lifetimes and gained wisdom beyond your years. All right. I like these. I like these so much that we're going to keep these out here. I don't like fear being out here, but look, we must accept it to move it on, right? So those I'm going to put right there, and then we're going to put some of these up so I can do so I can do a tarot spread. Oops. There you go. All right. So, what kind of which tarot deck are we gonna use? Mm. Let's use this one. Let's use it's like trusty dusty, right? Old trusty dusty. All right, spirit, give us some messages, please. Woo for Leo, Leo. Tower on the split tower. Messages for Leo, please. Celtic cross. Okay, rebuilding coming out of that energy of five of pentacle, but coming out of that energy. All right, so what's the issue? What's the issue for my Leo's? Leo, I feel like you're interested in doing something, but you procrastinate. I feel like this is procrastination for you. Um, it just really feels like it. It's just because because it's like uh, you're not over it. <laughs> you're not over it. You are paying attention to other things, but they're saying you may be missing something that can be found inside by looking so much and listening so much around you to the opinions. And advice of others, you may be like relying on that too much because this card is really, if it's in the reverse, it's telling you, you need to meditate. <laughs> you need to meditate. Stop procrastinating. Stop procrastinating the meditating. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Um, temperance, Sagittarius, that is making the impossible possible. I feel like you can easily do this, Leo, if we get off our butts because we're lazy. No, I'm just kidding. Leos aren't lazy. Leos aren't lazy. I'm a Leo. So, no, we're not lazy. It's not about that. It's not about that. It, it, it is about divine timing. There is something about divine timing. Making the impossible possible as the challenge. Balance is a challenge spiritually one foot in the spiritual one foot grounded and finding that balance because i feel like you're really fiery right now um okay so stay grounded stay grounded what is the root or at the base of this the world in reversed it the world in reverse sorry there is a new cycle, new energy waiting to be explored. And I feel like that's what this is saying is that you're not exploring all the energies that you have available to you at this moment. You have more than you did before. And that's what those things that's why this is coming out for you. So we have um Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo, and Sagittarius being represented here. I don't think this is resistance. I don't think we're knowing that they're there because we haven't gone inside, Leo. Okay, the past energy. Oh, maybe depression. Um, you know, 
maybe depression, maybe nerve issues. Change, had to get used to some great change, some sudden change. Um, this was in the past. A person is sitting here crying about all the negative thoughts that are running through her head or his head. It doesn't really matter. Um, the swords up there, it is just imagine each one is like a negative thought. So it's weighing you down. And in the past, it's like, my hands are tied. I just can't do anything about this. What do you expect me to do? Except this is obsessive thinking. And it feels like this is something in the past that we're going to put this in the past. I like that. Yeah, that goes together perfectly. Present energy. Wow. Wow, Leo. Leo. I like this. I like this, Leo. Look at this. So, you have the sun illuminating you, ruling you, which is what you want to have ruling you. So, you are in alignment. When you've got your planet here, you're in alignment. Okay, we even have the Six of Wands. This is one of your cards, I believe. No, it's not one of your cards. Is it? Yeah, it is one of your cards, I think. Yeah. Um, but it, it, either way, Leo, <laughs> this is celebration, public recognition, people raising praises, saying praises for you, and what a good job you've done. You may have pulled yourself out of a pit. That's what it feels like with this. So the Nine of Pentacles... Um, I'm going to throw out there the really rare person that might be pregnant, and this might represent the nine months. That's very rare, but I don't want to exclude a person who might be pregnant. So this is about, though, uh, self-reliance, the art of self-reliance through uh, financial windfall that comes in. Good finances just in general. I see stability and the ability to uh, provide yourself the life that you want, your luxuries, now, some of you could be dealing with inheritance. We, you know, we also have the the yellow on that nine of pentacles, which reminds me of enlightenment too. Enlightenment, awareness, enlightenment. So that's the presently. That's presently what's going on. The art of self reliance and independence. Okay, in the near future energy, we have the knight of wands. Near future energy. This could be somebody from the past coming back that you maybe don't want to come back because it's in the reverse. So this might be either somebody or a situation that was careless, poor judgment call. Just be careful with your, with, um, with how you move. Be careful that you're not too risk, risk taking here in the near future energy. I don't want you to be the careless knight of wands because you are the the night too. Let's get another one for that near future. Okay, so with Spirit's help, you're co-creating for sure. Listen to their advice and you'll stay away from making a careless mistake. Okay. And maybe it's telling you not to travel here in the near future for some reason. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. Like, if that's something... Okay, trust your intuition. Trust your intuition about that. Whatever that means. It's going to be individual to you. So trust your intuition and what you feel like it means. We have the High Priestess here is how you feel, which is really in tune with yourself. And your intuition is really, really high at this time. Good cards coming out. Real good cards. Pisces Energy. Um, in the surrounding environment, and this is also, you know, laying groundwork down, uh, getting successful in this. You may be getting more education. Also, somebody might be with the Three of Pentacles. The moon is the surrounding influence, but look, we are not fighting anymore, or we're not planning on fighting. We don't want to fight. The moon and the High Priestess, you all have a strong Pisces influence, either in your chart or it's around you. The moon is about secrets, things that are hidden. It is about the power. There is a power. It's a subtle um, power here. And it can reveal things too, but just a little bit at a time. So you can use the light of the moon to help you on your path. 
Just go baby step by baby step and you'll be all right. And remember there's hidden blessings there too, okay? So what is the hope or fear here? Hope or fear. King of Swords in the reverse, having some kind of situation, it could be with authority or somebody that's like an expertise in their field, like having an issue with them or somebody in fearing that somebody might be trying to sabotage you or sabotage something that you've got going. Nine of Wands energy is that the hope I feel like of perseverance and not giving up. Yeah. Okay, this uh, present, or not the present energy, but the outcome energy for a source, a healing, and you don't want to fight, don't want to fight. You're going to have a lot of options to open to you. The four of swords is coming out and it's like this. So it's like we're healing your intuition. Actually, what's also being healed is your energetic body. That's why 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, they're telling you, keep on your path. Know that the things that are popping up are meant to be on your journey. They're there for you to learn something. The Four of Swords is this time where you're thinking about what to do. But healing is a priority. Healing. Healing on all levels. Anything else for this outcome? Anything else? Yeah. Well, this is going to be what where the healing comes from, right? We are putting those obstacles in our way when we think and obsess. That's obsessed to thinking right here. Possibly over what other people have told us or advice that's not even going to help you. So you need to make sure you don't revert to old behaviors and old patterns of mental like the way that you're thinking on the bottom um losing patience with something are you losing patience with okay i'm gonna get um the other tarot and we're gonna clarify some of these Laying the groundwork. All right. Perseverance, not giving up on the bottom. What is the um, outcome about, what's this outcome energy? Okay, partnerships coming out of that. That's wonderful. Waiting for your ships to come in, guys. King of Cups. Being a master of your mood, that's important coming to a crossroads in your life after this victory you must make a decision regarding a partnership king of cups might be talking about either like a it could be a, a water sign a cancer scorpio pisces or and this could be a gemini but i feel like this has to do with being in control of your emotions healing uh financial wounds or problems, healing, financial problems, and also any kind of abandonment or neglect issue with um, leaving somebody out, possibly like on that level of uh, if ignored somebody or, and maybe it wasn't even on purpose. There's something here about that, about releasing that energy too. So we have five, five, big change. This is in the reverse with how we want it. The Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. We're releasing a lot of pain. Um, we're releasing our regret because we can now that we have this victory. That's wonderful. That's how we. That's how it's being perceived here. And then I have the Three of Wands as um, just kind of like overall right here. Which, by the way, is my card for being in anticipation for receiving which is the yin energy, the divine feminine, which has been your message all along here too. Sitting, uh, there's nothing for you to do actively at the moment. You need to be still and meditate. Be still and meditate. And there, there you go. You're planting some strong roots in whatever this is that you're doing. You're planting some strong roots. All right, so Leo, let's get you um, let's get you some fairy cards, and I might pull some from the others too. There we go. Have some courage. It says courage, young heart. 
Stand tall and don't let love decrease. You are a warrior of peace. That's right. And dream totem. Commitment. Ask yourself the commitment that you ask everyone else. Ask yourself, what do you need? Listen to the answer and respond actively, committedly. So there's something that you might need yourself, um, such as more exercise, better food. I don't know, something on that, something like that. Your commitment to yourself is important. Don't forget you. Assert yourself. Go for what you want. The time is ripe for soulmate connections. Birth of a child is also likely. There we go with the lovers. And signs. Your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. That's lovely, isn't it? That's really good to know. And tea leaves. Some tea leaves for Leo. And I think that's past, okay? I think that's past. When, when you have all of these worries, anxiety, when you are in the frequency of depression or sadness, anxiety, you have muddled or unclear thinking, meaning your intuition is not going to be as on par because your intuition comes through better when you're relaxed. So those, you know, denser vibrations, they're not going to vibrate with the messages that you're wanting to hear. So that's why we need to make sure we're not taking on this stress or depression and we're knowing that everything's going to be all right. It keeps our intuition sharp, keeping our vibration high. Bell, an announcement. Bread, a period of prosperity and abundance. Rat, someone working against you behind your back. And who is that? That is usually the darkness because your light is so bright that you cast a really big shadow. <laughs> Weeping willow, family sorrow. Rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters where it might be indicating fertility here. All right, so that's what I got for you. Sending you love and light. Bye, guys.